Hello everyone and welcome back to some more league racing action here today as we are here for WOR Round 7 at Bahrain. If you haven't seen Round 6, the French Grand Prix, go check it out, the previous race, link in the top right. For once, actually, a very strong race overall to be fair, and also because of that, I'm taking some confidence into this race. Anyway, spoilers ahead, so go check out the last one, as I'm going to talk about it a little bit. But yeah, here we are, qualifying in Bahrain. Uh, currently about to finish our first time lap across the line, a 128.1 banker. Now the reaction kind of summarises how I feel about that. A little bit concerned, a little bit, you know, worried, realising that I'm in a bit of trouble. Now with that said, we'll let the second lap play in the background as I quickly recap the last race at Paul Ricard. Now, as you guys saw, if you haven't seen it, go check it out, but we had a pretty strong race, and to be fair, my best race of the season. Also, just generally, I was quite strong. The pace was pretty good, and the car was working good, and I managed to get a P6 after penalties got applied, so... Okay, we've only got one lap of fuel remaining. Absolutely no grip through that. Yeah, as you can hear me say, no grip through the first couple of corners, as we do find the chunk of time through four. As I was saying, we uh, got P6 after penalties applied, so a, a decent result, all things considered, to be fair, in Paul Ricard. The race pace was really strong there, and, you know, we're starting to improve a little bit, and hopefully we can get another decent result in this one, as we're currently on our second time lap, two tenths up as we make our way. Thank you, Ronald, mate. Cheers for five months. Much appreciated. As we uh, got a sub on Twitch midway through the lap at turn 10. Three tenths up right now, looking to hopefully improve and maybe move off the foot of the table. I mean, right now you can see we're only up. Oh my god, that was horrible. We're only up on mark by a fraction as we make our way out of sector two to sector three. So we're not looking to break the top 10, that's for sure. If we're lucky we'll move off last place. Into the final corner. Not too shabby to be fair, but the exit wasn't the best. Up to the line. Still last, probably. Oh dear. This is going to be a long one, fellas. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, definitely not what I had in mind. Either way, I know there's time to be found, especially in the first sector. And there may be a bit in the other two sectors. So let's jump into it. And let's try to put personal best on the last lap, as I tend to do quite often and set a PB when it matters. So down on turn one, spot the 100 meter board as you're braking. Down to third gear. Try to get the apex and short shift the fourth as you look to get the power down on the exit. Bit of a moment, not the best. Right. And I should have been. And I should have been about at least another tenth up heading into turn four. Um, but instead, we're only a tenth up overall. So, yeah, really not great. And we're down on P16 as we have another moment through turn seven through eight, through nine, and now getting ready for the tricky turn 10. This one is very, very tough to get right. We're gonna to try to take a bit of a, a tighter line so we can straight line break it, and then get the rotation at the apex, and then floor it. And again, it, and again, another scruffy moment there as we have a, a really just poor time of it. It's been a really scruffy lap. Um, somehow we're still up, I, I don't even know how, but anyway. Second two, closing out now, we're up on P16, so we're still on for a, a respectable lap if we can deliver in this final second. You can see we've actually found a chunk of time in that last corner. We're now two tenths up through the final corner. Missing the apex a little bit there. We have to accelerate on the curb, which isn't ideal, but the exit's good, and we're gonna pretty much match our final corner. Very mid, extremely mid. And I think that's a fair summary of the lap, to be honest with you. I will admit, looking at the final results, P9 was actually achievable um, quite easily. You know, there was at least another tenth in the first sector, if not more. I'm talking an absolute bare minimum. I reckon there was maybe two tenths in the first sector alone, which just that moves us into P9. And then there's a bit of a gap to P8. But, you know, that plus the horrible turn 10 exit, you know, and also the snap through seven, I could have been a lot higher up, to be fair. The pace wasn't that strong. The top seven definitely out of the question, but maybe P8 on an absolutely perfect lap if I cleaned it all up. Either way, P15 instead. Not terrible. I thought it was going to start last, so that's a bit of an improvement, a bit of a, a small positive to take. But yeah, let's get into the race. 
Here we go then, the lights are on at Bahrain. Simple one stop, hard to medium. Let's get into it. Lights out and away we go. Getting a decent start there, getting alongside Tycho Hardy in the Alpha Terry. My teammate having a poor start up ahead. So we're gonna choose the outside line. We're gonna try and swing it the long way around as the Alpine there gets spun around. Making our way through two and three, just trying to avoid contact as the yellows are out for the Alpine that's back with the turn one. Up the hill towards turn four, no change in position as we look to go around the outside again here, looking for a move, but nothing to be gained. Now making our way into the downhill left and right. Looking to maybe get a cutback on my teammate, but we have a big snap there at the crucial, crucial point when I was just going to set up the cutback. And uh, Bogdan Mordovan goes for the move around the outside. He pulls it off to be fair to him. I'm going to have to leave some space on the inside. So we're going to take a very wide line and look to outbreak him. But we get stuck on the curb. Oh, fuck. I'm so sorry. Oh, fucking curb. I'm so sorry, you're not. <laughs> How does a curb do that? Makes no sense. Literally makes no sense how I could do that to you, but anyway. We love our fight back. I don't know what it is with this game, and just sometimes, I'm not a hater, but I, I do sometimes genuinely question the physics. But how can me going on that outside curb spin me inside, like to the left? It, it, it makes no sense, it's baffling to me. Okay, is now available. Anyway, with that said, I basically had to go full push mode to try and get back within the DRS range of the entire train, which right now is essentially the other 19 cars, it's just one long DRS train. So I've used up my entire battery, and you can see here I just, oh my god, just fall out at the crucial point, and Yona is keeping me out of range by using battery at the crucial point, and I just can't keep up just because I catch up the DRS train brakes. That's another one as well. With that retirement from the lethal sniper, it's essentially broken the train. And you can see we've got four cars ahead of us that have kind of lost contact with the DRS train. And yeah, we've, like I said, managed to catch up pretty much. Still not quite within DRS, I'm struggling to get the last bit. Give me the damn DRS, man. And that's because I've got no battery right now, which is really frustrating. Yona's also using it on this straight to keep me away, which is really frustrating. So I can't get back in when it really matters, but you can see how oh, is such a problem. Oh, fuck. My pace isn't even that bad. The train has, you know, completely broken now. And it's essentially us four trying to keep up with the cars ahead. Finally, man. Thank fuck. Just need to try and catch up to the main train now. So on to lap eight, we finally actually get into the RS range after many laps of just losing it on that back straight because of lack of energy. So we can now focus on trying to recharge the battery as Yona makes a mistake into turn 10 and runs deep. This guy tries so hard to drop me, he's making mistakes. Now I know Yona, Yona's a fast driver and this race he was driving extremely poorly. You yeah, can pull me along now, I ain't going. No, I'm the one I get to save. Even him driving man, this kind of driving is terrible. Now that could be down to lack of practice or just the fact he's turned up and literally just hasn't even done a single lap of practice, which, you know, I was partly responsible for as well. I didn't um, practice much for this one. I just didn't have the time. But my pace was fine in the race. You know, I wasn't making mistakes like Yona is and I just couldn't understand why as now he's going to let us through. We'll move ahead, but it doesn't really mean much because that mistake he made at turn 10 when I had to basically, you know, watch out to not collect him, that, again, dropped us out of DRS range from his teammate and also Cameron Dowds. So, back to square one. It took me nine ups to get to DRS and then we lost it straight away thanks for the mistake. So, um, nothing I can really do. I'm just fighting a losing battle here as my teammate has been caught up in an incident. So, we're going to move up a place and make some progress. That's completely broken the DRS train up ahead. But yeah, that's cool. It was another break you could see around five, six cars have been caught out with that incident. So, the DRS train is slowly breaking up. Which is a good thing because obviously cars will start to draw back our way hopefully, but ultimately we don't have it so I can't recharge the battery. And now Yona's been charging up so he's going to go. I wonder if we can hear me. 
Can't do it, no battery. What wings are you running, mate? Now, Jonah goes through. Somehow he's got no battery, so he's obviously not charged to anything. Oh, just when we're catching Felipe, he pits. And again, like you hear me say, just when we're catching Felipe, he pits. The gap was like 1.5, we're nearly there. About to get the RS and then he pits. So, this race, man, the margins are so, so harsh. You know, like I said, eight laps in the first stint. Literally, uh, I was within DRS range when the straight started because of the lack of bat battery by the end of the straight. Battle ahead. I dropped out of DRS range and then eventually you caught up and then an incident happens like this one and we lose more time. Oh, fucking hell, this is just. Oh, try to work with someone that doesn't work. It's all going wrong. And this is what I mean, you know, people are going to probably call me out in the comments for driving like this, but. In league racing, it's a well-known thing. You work together sometimes, you know, for a common benefit of trying to get back into the race. So you'll, you know, leapfrog and essentially do like a, re a relay race where you exchange DRS and recharge battery in phases. And that way you can keep up and, you know, stay competitive. But it just wasn't happening. And, um, yeah, it was getting really frustrating. And it's a shame because my pace was actually brilliant. I was loving life on these tyres. And the race pace was so strong. Had I actually been in contention, I would have been a contender for at least a top five finish. I actually really enjoyed myself. I thought it was great to drive in the race. Well, my pace is not that bad, but there's nowhere. What's the plan? <laughs> Go long, hope for a safety car, or a virtual safety car, get back into the race. Even a virtual would probably get back in. Feels like there's no tire wear, man. Like, literally, personal best, second two. Car feels fucking great. I'm PBing without even using battery or getting DRS. I feel like I've hit a really good rhythm, really good flow. I mean, the, even the leaders aren't catching me that fast. To say they're on a fresh medium. The pace is good. I can hold on. I just need a flipping safety car. And yeah, you can see in the bottom right, the tire wear icon is on, which means we're over 60% tire wear. As Yona eventually crashed out and retired on the exit of four. And I was praying this would be the safety car, or virtual safety car, but getting back into the race because I could stop and basically join back up in the train. Even if it was just a virtual safety car, that would get me back in the mix because I've got a fresh medium to go on to, but it didn't happen. It wasn't my day. I only lost three turns on my lap. And another personal best, and the pace is strong. Amazing. Genuinely, I was doing a good job. And now, my first proper mistake. Oh, never mind. That might be me, actually. And that's probably the first sign of tire wear as the rears are now at 70. Just kicking in there, but... Still, I had a lot of fun. I actually really enjoyed just driving flat out every single lap and not having to hold back and give it everything. I didn't cost them any time. I used my battery on the end lap to uh, essentially get out of the lead battle. So yeah, let's pit. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's Leroy DRS. That's the best I can do. <laughs> and for the YouTube video, yep, I know I have softs, but they're not fresh. They're used. I'd rather just go on the medium and floor it. Oh dear, Yona, we've had a poor race, haven't we? Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track. Now, my intention was always to pit once the leaders arrived because Leroy, number one bites of dust, who was P1, actually gave me the setup that I was driving this race, so I didn't want to ruin his, you know, potential of maybe winning a race. So I, did, I didn't want to get in that kind of battle. Also, you can see my pace was great. I was flying on the medium, car was great. I wanted that fast as that. And I gave it everything. I tried to catch back up to the pack. You know, I, I held on and I just kept on hoping every single lap for a safety car or a virtual safety car, something to kind of, you know, grasp or hold on to in terms of hope. But it didn't happen. So, yeah, unfortunately, really, a, a lap one semi error. I mean, it was just a lock up, but the curb spun me to the inside, which I just don't understand. And then I just spent the rest of the race essentially backpedaling, trying to fight back. And the pace was actually insane. Nah, it's impossible. Oh, well, never mind. I tried to pass these two, but it just wasn't going to be the DRS effect was too strong and I had no battery. So, yeah, race done and uh, started P15, finished P15. Um, not really much more to add. It was one of them ones where I tried everything, but it just wasn't to be. And uh, yeah, we go again in the next one. Shame because, like I said, race pace was actually really strong and it was on the money. Like I, I, I was competing on that very old hard tie with the leaders in terms of pace so yeah 
we live and learn. Um, we'll try to do better next time. Ultimately, qualifying was the issue here. We qualified so far down, and I, I had really poor one lap pace, and I just couldn't find an answer. So, um, yeah, bit of a mystery for me, that one. Either way, guys, leave a like, subscribe for more. Hopefully, the next one will be better. Link down below to my link tree, which has my Twitch. I stream these races every Monday night, so go follow me over there. As always, a shout-out and plug for the channel members. Check out the two videos on the screen, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, and let's come back from me.